If you spend enough time in the Mahoning Valley, at some point you'll see one of the Youngstown Air Reserve Station C-130 aircraft go flying overhead. The eight C-130s housed at the Vienna Air Base represent the main industry of what is essentially a small city. The station has lodging, food service, as well as a full-time police and fire department. And if the Youngstown Air Reserve Station is a city, then Colonel Daniel Sarasheen is its mayor. Sarasheen assumed command of the air base February 1st and has spent the majority of his military career stationed here. I definitely see the potential here to um, continue and to expand if given the resources to do that. Uh, we enjoy excellent community support. We have a strong work ethic of the airmen that come to the base and uh, we have um, excellent facilities and enjoy uh, airspace that allows us to do all the training that we need to do. The air base is home to the 910th Airlift Wing who operate the Department of Defense's only large area aerial spray mission. Its functions include controlling the spread of insects and unwanted vegetation and dispersing oil spills, as it did in response to the Deepwater Horizon oil spill. We have security forces here that deploy to real world situations around the globe, uh, whether it's protecting an aircraft as a Raven or going to some forward operating base in Afghanistan and pr providing ground defense. But Colonel Donald Wren says while the base may be a city unto itself, it is by no means isolated from the surrounding communities. Our fire department here isn't just responding to an incident on Youngstown Air Reserve Station. We, we're providing fire protection for the airport as well as mutual aid for 26 other communities in the local area. But that's just one example of how the air base benefits the community. Another is financial. With a staff of 1,863, the station is the Valley's fourth largest employer behind GM, YSU, and Mercy Health, with an annual payroll of $49.3 million. Master Sergeant Bob Barco says local contractors also benefit from work at the base. One of the newest things we have going on uh, right now is we are building a $7.3 million firing range. Uh, the range we have is about 30 years old. It's uh, outdated in a number of aspects as far as the uh, military is concerned. And some of the characteristics of that and features of that facility will also let our, our partners downtown uh, be able to come out to the air station and, and do their qualification. Wren says while it would appear the Air Reserve Station has everything it needs located within its 321 acres, a key component is actually located outside the fences. You can't really look at the Youngstown Air Reserve Station or the 910th Airlift Wing and say they do this mission because it's not just us. It's the employers and it's the community and it's everybody that supports this installation. That's how we get the mission done. Strong community support to the base really enhances the mission. There's a lot of things this, this station means to the Valley. It's got a long history here. It's been here through the 50s, a number of missions. It was originally put here to defend the Mahoning Valley, not only the Ravenna Arsenal, but the steel mills downtown. We're proud to be a part of this community and uh, the support that we get from the community is, uh, is fantastic. We're saluting the air base in the mid-June issue of the Business Journal out now. In it, you'll find stories about the history of the air base, profiles of key people, and a preview of this weekend's Thunder Over the Valley air show. Click the subscribe tab to order your copy today. 717 Business Loans, from commercial mortgages to SBA loans or lines of credit and equipment and vehicle loans. 717 Business Loans, big and small, we've done them all.